Well, this week marked the end of the road for Indiana's General Assembly. But the work of this year's short session could open new roads in the Wabash Valley. And as News 10's Matt Gregory tells us, those roads could lead to jobs. It's often difficult to see results from here back home in the Wabash Valley. However, after this year's General Assembly, the difference you see may be on your open roads. House Bill 1002, unbelievable. It, uh, it brings a smile to my face because it's going to do some great things in this state. It's $200 million now and then $200 million in 2015. That $400 million State Rep Alan Morrison speaks of is all dedicated to roads. Here's the kicker to this story. The $400 million will grow into even more road money. We will get a $1.6 billion dollar grant from the or uh, allocation from the federal government. The next few years, Indiana looks to have two billion dollars to spend on road projects. And you know exactly where all those projects are going to be. We don't know yet. Um, there is there are some whispers here, or there some choke points on some some of the major uh, interstates. So we can't guarantee what portion of that money comes home to the Wabash Valley. Still, these future road projects do have potential to bring something else home: money for families. According to Morrison, these road projects have potential to employ anywhere from 40 to 50,000 people. When we can leave that, that state house and say we're going to put $2 billion into our infrastructure throughout the state and we're going to employ up to 50,000 Hoosiers, I think that's a darn good thing. All the signs point towards the positive, but we'll have to wait to see results further down the road. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10.